Hey there, this is Logan Crockett with Full Circle Music. I am coming to you from our recording studios here in Nashville, Tennessee, and we are here today to answer your questions about the music industry. So you guys wanna know, how do you make a band or artist page on Facebook? Well, I've got the answer and some advice. When it comes to creating a Facebook page, that's a great step if you are a band, artist, or musician. Having your own Facebook page is definitely a really good thing to do. Before we actually jump into creating the page itself, there's a little bit of preliminary work uh, that I wanna make sure that you guys have thought about and have figured out beforehand. The biggest thing is really just making sure that you know what your brand is, especially as that relates to social handles. Do you have the, the name that you want to brand yourself as? And I wanna stress you know a lot of people um it, it's very common for artists just to go simple here here's who i am here's my first name last name call it good but a lot of times i mean quite frankly phonetically uh that that might not sound as awesome or an, another thing that can happen very very often is um you might have a very common name a name that's shared with a lot of other people and in cases like that um if people are googling you or even trying to find you on facebook and you have a very common name it's going to be hard for people to kind of dig through all the other people in order to actually find you if they're truly looking for you and so there's a lot of considerations when it comes to um, figuring out your name um, and so the biggest thing is just to, to know what that is on the front end. Is it going to be first and last name? Is it going to be first name, middle name? Is it going to be like a custom name? Um, can, can you come up with something really creative that is very memorable that, that can almost just be a, a first name? There's a lot of artists who are known just by their first name and it works really well for them. Um, you can even do initials. Clay behind the camera here is a huge fan of the artist NF. Um, and literally his artist name is just NF, very simple. So all right, so there's a lot of different things you can do, um, but once you know your name that you're going for with your artist, that is definitely the first thing you wanna do before you jump into creating your band page. Um, because then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have handles for it. And when I say handles, I mean what happens when it comes to facebook.com slash name or twitter.com slash name or youtube.com slash name instagram.com slash name that is considered a handle it's basically what people can literally type into an address bar to find you through or what they can search on the social media platform to find you through so as a band or an artist or a musician you just really 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 want to make sure that across if at all possible across all social media hand, um, platforms you have the same handle and sometimes that can be tricky like full circle music those are three very common words and so for us full circle music was taken taken on a few of the social platforms. It was available on some, taken on others, but we wanna make sure that we're consistent across everything so that way it's easy for people to find us if we just tell people, hey, find us on social media at, instead of find us on Facebook here, but on Twitter it's this, and on YouTube it's this, it's a whole lot easier if they can if they can just remember one thing because people have short-term memory. They can't remember like all these different things. Um, if you have all these different options and ways to, to find you on social media. A really, really easy way to um, make sure that the name that you want is available on all these platforms is to use a name checking tool. In the description down below, I will link to uh, our favorite name checking tool, which can show you the domain, um, and it can show you all the socials and, and show if, if what you're typing in is available across everything. Because yeah, if, if at all possible, I'm getting the exact same thing across all of them is definitely what you wanna do. So ours is official FC music, and you. Can can find us there on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Um, it's just that website.com slash that handle, official FC music. Um, and that just makes everything so much simpler, so much easier, so much happier. In certain cases, um, it, it can literally be worth changing your artist or musician name in order to make that happen. Um, but, but sometimes your name is just too important and sometimes there's just no possible scenario you can figure out with the handle. So sometimes you just gotta go with it um, and have different handles on, on different social media platforms. But if at all possible, get the same one. I say all that because this is just, it, the, the, this obviously goes beyond Facebook. This is a conversation that spans all of social media. And so before you jump into to this Facebook page, especially if this is the first um, first thing that you're creating for yourself as a musician or, or a band um, on social media, you just really want to think about have this conversation with yourself on the front end. Once you have that figured out, a few graphical assets is really great. Having something like a logo, having some photos, I mean, they don't need to be crazy pro or anything like that. But just something that you can put up there that kind of represents you is, is a good move if, you, if you're going to be 
putting yourself out on the internet. And so, so if you have all of that kind of, kind of ready to go, then the next step is to actually go and create your page. So to do that, you can go to facebook.com slash pages slash creation. And I'll go ahead and link to that exact spot down in the description below. So you can just click right there. And then it's honestly really straightforward. Facebook will pretty much just take you right through the steps of setting up your page past that you'll have a page, you won't have anything going on. So you you know, you're gonna want to put up a, a cover photo and a profile picture and make some posts. What another thing and this is where the real advice comes in on, on starting off. A lot of people I feel make the mistake of they create a page and they're so excited about it. And they're like, I need to invite all of my friends ever to come and like this thing. But that's probably what you don't want to do. I would have maybe five or six of your really, really close friends get in on it. But I, I wouldn't do more than that. Because I would take a little bit of time to to try posting some things to establish some things. If you're not starting off with the best pictures or just kind of placeholder things, maybe getting some better pictures. If you're releasing music soon, maybe waiting till you have um, some sort of thing out that people can listen to because what you don't want to do is you it's all about first impressions you don't want to invite a whole bunch of people to like the page and then have them coming to a page that has nothing on it and it's like crickets where nothing exciting is going on and there's no no music to listen to there's nothing to check out it's just a page that's like hi I'm here so the best scenario is what when you do kind of a big push like that you just want to make the page seem like a big deal make it seem like there's a lot going on so that is my advice. Put in the work to, to just make it really seem really pro beforehand before you actually go invite a bunch of people to it. And one of the best things to help with that is just to have a great brand overall across all kinds of different um, media platforms on the internet, including other social media, including your own website. If you're interested in more things along those lines or just getting more advanced at, at building yourself up on Facebook, um, we also have a marketing course that we have uh, made available through Full Circle Music. That basically teaches you everything you could want to know about um, getting yourself launched online and uh, just getting tons and tons of raving fans while you sleep. I will link also to that course down in the description below. And between all that stuff, uh, hopefully that helps you out. Regardless, um, the, the most important thing is that you take action. And if you are wanting to make a, a Facebook page as a band or a musician, make it happen. All right, thanks for watching. If you learned something, if this video was helpful to you, we really would appreciate it if you would go down there and hit that like button. It's super quick, super easy, super simple, and it does make us more friendly with the YouTube, so that would be awesome. But more importantly, we're actually doing a whole lot more videos just like this one where we are answering the internet's top questions about the music industry. And so if you aren't subscribed to our channel and it sounds like you would love to hear our answers to some other questions, then please subscribe so that way you don't miss those. Also, speaking of questions, if you have any more questions, maybe there was something you weren't sure about regarding this video, or you're wondering about a completely different topic in the music industry, go ahead, go down to that comment section and uh, write your question and let us know what's up. And we would be happy to get back to you and answer that, or maybe even make a future video about it. The last thing that I want to let you know is that at Full Circle Music, our team has created an awesome resource for you, totally free. And it's just a free mini training class that teaches you exactly what to do if you really want to have a career in the music industry. So if you would like to check out that free class, and again, it's totally for free, um, you can click right over here. And if you click on that button, then you should get immediate access to that class. And that would be really cool. Um, or if you would rather go and check out another video that answers a top question about the music industry, you can do that by clicking right up there.